so what i would recommend is that when you see a startup opening okay reach out to even the co-founders okay because they don't mind talking talking so so what i did for both the startups is i i uh, like for moing especially i reached out to the co-founder directly and he was really polite in uh, in offering me like the interview the next day in terms of you final probably micro questions uh, we can just discuss over uh, probably few tips that you might have or uh, what exact timeline of preparation would you suggest uh, and what final key pointers are there or something whatever would be your final suggestion as an interviewer mm-hmm. and who is prepared for that so for me like i'll, I'll give the interviewee perspective first right like when i am when i was approaching interviews and how did i so there are two parts to it right like getting opportunities is one part right like how do you get a lot of opportunities in especially startups right so what i would recommend is that when you see a startup opening okay reach out to even the co-founders okay because they don't mind talking talking so so what i did for both the startups is i i uh, like for moing especially i reached out to the co-founder directly and he was really polite in uh, in offering me like the interview the next day right mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. what i would do is ki build your build your connect on linkedin right and, and try reaching out to people and then they would surely be hiring for this this role particularly because this is very much in demand and and is a niche right mm-hmm. so yeah so that that is how you reach out and then like again like coming to the preparation stuff so you need to realize what stage you are in right first of all so so if you are feeling that you are not sure about what sre is what devops is just get a per- better perspective rather than just started starting to prepare because there is an opportunity mm. right because you need to know the role and this is a kind of a, a a role which people just just go there because there is an opportunity right because you will see a lot of hiring happening across sre and devops mm. so you you might be tempted to go into that role even without knowing what that role exactly does mm-hmm. right so uh, like the first thing which i i suggest is ki read a lot about what your role would be right mm-hmm. because it will not be as clear cut of what a back end developer or a front end developer would do in an organization mm-hmm. right so for that again like i'd recommend the google sr site re- uh, site reliability engineering book so you can go through it you will get to know like what your what kind of work you should expect mm-hmm. right and then after you have confirmed ki yes i i want to become an sri i want to take this up right so then again like you can you can get started with the basic stuff right which is learning about the cloud learning about what all tools we have and basically covering up the breadth right and then then you you can probably start for a uh, start applying for companies so what i'd recommend is a timeline of 2 months okay so in in probably the first month you can cover up uh, the the cloud part of things and mm-hmm. the second month you can probably take up the tool section and uh, learn about like try to develop the breadth by going through topics and and then practicing uh, a lot of mock interviews right mm-hmm. this would be my ideal two month uh, uh, plan for a junior sre role which i suggest for mm-hmm. senior sre roles it's it's only about the interviews right it because you might be knowing the breadth mm-hmm. most be knowing the breadth right so you would be knowing the tools what they do so it would mostly be about what what is asked in the interview right mm. what rounds what what i can face right mm. so for those kind of uh, roles what i'd suggest is ki again like try to try to uh, talk to your connects there try to give mock interviews if possible so that you can you can you can get an idea of the interview and mm. one one other important thing i, I think like it, it goes for all the roles but here it's very important to like learn like read the jd very well right mm. because we are seeing that there are about 60 tools which you can cover up in total right mm. so you have mm. to find match right while applying for a particular role that i know this concept and this is important for this company right which they have, they would have mentioned in the jd so if if you are applying for that you're most likely to get selected because that is what they are internally hiring for so they they mention sre in the role but they would be actually hiring for monitoring uh, lead in sre right mm. or like was good at monitoring so you need to go through the jd here 
uh, as 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 in depth as possible in order to uh, crack crack those interviews and apply to the jobs correctly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like I guess the that that would cover up uh, the, the the tips which I wanted to share mm -hmm. for any okay. any. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, great, great set of uh, tips for everyone. So, yeah, so let's. I think we have we have covered a lot of aspects today, and uh, yeah, as a final thing, if uh, if there are any more doubts or anything people have, they can post in comment section, and right. we will we will take it up. Also, mm -hmm. if uh, you need any sort of uh, mentorship or mock interviews directly with mentors like Rohan or others. Probably Rohan will not be available. He's now CTO at Coolblaze. So we have a huge list of tasks already for him. So yeah. So that's that's what it is. And uh, yeah, we will keep posting more of this uh, content and uh, help out people. We'll also be posting SRE mock interview videos for more preference on covering interview questions and things. Yeah. So yeah, thanks a lot, Rohan, uh, for your time and uh, completely breaking down SRE interview preparation and strategy. So yeah, probably we'll do more of these videos. Thanks for having me, Sail. I hope this was helpful. Yeah.